Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to ha have a look at how I make my family portrait cushions. They're very, very popular. So I'm going to go through the process from start to finish and what I do and how I create them. I do hope you'll enjoy it. Don't forget to hit a like if you like it and don't forget to subscribe so you can see my next videos. Some camping videos coming up very, very soon. Bye. Making a family portrait cushion. Now for those of you that don't know, It's So Casbo is my sewing alter ego. And as It's Go Casbo, amongst other things, I design and create family portrait cushions for my shop. And here's how I do it. Before I can even think about their design, I spend a long time on research, chatting to the customer about their likes and dislikes, getting photos, allowing me to build up a unique picture of their family. Step two, using all this information, I start by creating a rough sketch of the family scene I would like to create. I then work closely with the customer to make sure that we finalise the sketch and everything is just right, including all the fine details about their relatives. Now, step three, now I have my sketch plan, it's time to start thinking about fabric. What colours and textures would work for each separate element of the sketch? looking at what clothes they're wearing, what colour I need for their skin, the background, the trees, the plants. Next is step four. Once I've selected my fabrics, I need to make templates. To do this, I have to break down my sketch into separate elements, creating a small card template for each element. Step five, taking the fabrics I have chosen, I cut down each piece to fit the templates needed and iron fuser web onto the back of each piece. Step 6. Using each of the card templates, I select the prepared fabric piece for each one. Draw around it onto the paper back, but remember it will need to be drawn back to front so that when it's turned around the right way on the fabric side, it's the correct way round. Step 7. It's now time to cut each shape out. You may need to use a craft knife for the fiddly little bits. And then once all your pieces are cut, step 8 is the actual fun part. You can now start to build your picture up on your fabric base. Think of it like a fabric collage. Remove the paper backing of each piece and iron on to stick into place. This will hold your design secure, ready for when you start sewing. Step 9. It's finally time to sew. I use a satin stitch on my machine. This is achieved by using a zigzag stitch on the smallest width setting. It creates a nice neat edge. The whole process is called a plique. Then step 10, the finishing touches, a little bit of hand and machine embroidery, any extra embellishments, beads, sequins, a few French knots, anything like that, just add the end appeal. All that's left to do now is sew your cushion cover together. I always use an envelope back with presters to secure. It's much simpler than a zip and doesn't, there's less chance of it breaking or snapping. And that's it, that's one of my family portrait cushions and the process that I go through to make them. Some of my other designs have included houses, um, every single cushion has personalised symbols to represent the subjects, family pets, job references, likes and dislikes. I'll leave you now to have a little look at some of my recent designs. <laughs> 